Retirement accounts are put in place to help you invest and build wealth for your golden years. For this reason, the IRS makes it difficult to withdraw money from tax-advantaged retirement accounts early. Policymakers want to ensure funds can support them over the long term. However, not everyone can wait until they're 59 and a half to begin making withdrawal distributions from their retirement accounts. Fortunately, tax-advantaged retirement plans offer a lesser-known option for penalty-free early withdrawals, aka Rule of 55. The Rule of 55 is an IRS provision that allows workers who leave their job for one reason or another to start taking distributions from their current employer's retirement plan without having to pay the penalty once they've reached the age of 55. Those looking to retire earlier than normal or those who need the cash flow can take distributions from their retirement plan sooner than is typically permitted. Deciding when to time your retirement plan withdrawals is important for determining how long your money will last and what you'll pay in taxes for those distributions. It's important to note that the Rule of 55 does not apply to all 401ks and is not available for traditional or Roth IRAs. Many companies have retirement plans that allow employees to take advantage of the Rule of 55 but not all offer this option. Several companies view the rule as an incentive for employees to re-sign to get a penalty-free distribution with the unintended consequence of depleting their retirement savings prematurely. Before taking a Rule of 55 withdrawal, a few conditions must be met. 1. You must leave your job the year you turn 55 or later. If you retire or are laid off in the year you turn 55 or later, or the year you turn 50 in the case you're a public service employee, you can withdraw funds from your current 403b or 401k plan without paying the early withdrawal 403b or 401k penalty. 2. You can't start taking that money out if you've already retired early. Not all employers may support these early withdrawals, and even if they do, they may require you to withdraw all your funds in one go. Always check with your retirement plan provider to determine your plan's policies. 3. You can only withdraw from your 401k. Under the Rule of 55, penalty-free early withdrawals are limited to funds held in your most recent company's 401k or 403b. Even if you're 55 or older, you can't reach back to old 401ks and use that money. This rule doesn't usually apply to individual retirement accounts, IRAs, so you need to leave your IRA alone to avoid the penalty. Suppose you're actively planning to retire early. In that case, it's advisable to roll retirement funds from old jobs and other retirement counts into your current 401k before you leave. By doing so, you can get access to the money with the rule of 55. 1. What the retirement plan offers them. The company's plan needs to offer a 401k or 403a or b that allows the rule of 55 withdrawals. Some may even require you to be 59 and a half or even 62 before making withdrawals. 2. Money has to remain in the plan. You need to understand completely that your funds must be kept in the employer's plan before making withdrawals, and you can only do so from your current employer's plan. If you choose to move them to an IRA, you lose the tax protection offered by the Rule of 55. 3. Understand the potential lost gains. Taking early withdrawals means giving up any gains you might have earned otherwise on your investments. 4. Reduction in taxes. When your taxable income should be lower if you are not working, you can wait for the next calendar year to begin the Rule of 55 withdrawals. 5. Public Safety Worker. If you're a qualified public safety worker, you might be able to start five years early. This includes police officers, firefighters, EMTs, correctional officers, air traffic controllers, and so on. You need to ensure you have a qualified plan that allows withdrawals in or after the year you turn 50 years old. The rule affects how and when you can access your retirement savings. The rules are very specific, so you need to follow them before you begin taking money out of your retirement account. If you get the process wrong, you'll end up paying the same 10% early withdrawal penalty, as everyone else who withdraws money from a tax-advantaged retirement fund before they turn 59 and a half. That means the IRS will charge you 10% of what you withdraw, plus taxes on any money that hasn't been taxed before, like Roth account earnings. Should you consider the rule? So you might be thinking about going for this, but you might not be sure whether to use it or not. 
Ultimately, determining whether or not to take early withdrawals under the Rule of 55 will depend on your unique financial situation. You'll want to clearly understand your plan's rules, how much you'll need to withdraw, and what your annual expenses will likely be during your early retirement years. Figuring out some of those issues should help you know if taking an early withdrawal is the right decision for you. The Rule of 55 could be a deciding factor for those who are considering early retirement. It also helps if you've been unexpectedly downsized and need a sizable sum right away to cover medical bills or pay off your mortgage early. While it's usually advisable to keep money in your plan as long as possible, there can be times when tapping it makes financial sense. As mentioned previously, IRAs and 401ks from previous employers are not eligible for the Rule of 55 exception. However, the money in these other qualified retirement accounts can become eligible by rolling them into your current 401k. This is a big deal, as it could help you access a much larger savings pool before 55 and a half. But since only active employees can do rollovers, you'd have to square all this away before you leave the job. Check in with your employer to see if it allows rollovers into its 401k plan, because not all do. In any case, you should consider the timing of your withdrawal. For example, taking it in the year you retire will increase your taxable income and bump you into a higher tax bracket. Thus, waiting to make your first withdrawal until at least the next January after your job exit could save you money on your tax bill. Many wonder how an early withdrawal would affect their credit score. Withdrawing funds from your 401k early won't impact your credit directly, since the credit bureaus don't track activity on your retirement accounts. Making an early withdrawal can indirectly affect your credit when you use the money to pay down outstanding debt. It may seem like an easy way to ease off a debt burden or boost credit, but in most cases this shouldn't be the only reason to withdraw funds. You should only consider it if there's a financial emergency, and you've exhausted all other avenues. Reasons to consider using the rule if you'd like to retire early, you should follow this rule, as you'll be able to get the money you need to cover expenses. If you decide to get a job later on, you'll still be able to make withdrawals as necessary. Even if you don't end up paying the extra 10% 401k penalty, you still have to pay regular taxes on any money you withdraw that hasn't been taxed before. The ability to take out funds early can be a great safety net if you must retire before the age of 59 and a half. On the other hand, if you're patient enough to find another job, or even something part-time, letting the money grow tax-deferred well into your 60s might make more sense. Taking funds early could decrease the long-term value of your portfolio, particularly if your initial years of retirement are bad ones for the market. Taking taxable retirement plan distributions during a year when you owe less in taxes can be a clever way to reduce your total payment. However, taking money out of your plan during a higher income year could create unnecessary challenges. Therefore, make all portfolio choices with care. Then seek the assistance of a financial worker or retirement plan admin to come up with a withdrawal strategy that will work for you over time. Alternatives to the Rule The Rule of 55 is not the only way to take penalty-free distributions from a retirement plan. If you leave a job before the age of 59 and a half, there's another way to make money out of 401k, 403b, and even IRA retirement accounts. This is referred to as the Substantially Equal Periodic Payment Exemption, or simply SEPP, or an IRS Section 72T distribution. The SEPP plan is a bit different. You begin by estimating your life expectancy, which isn't easy to do, then using it to calculate five similar sized payments from a retirement plan for five years in a row, before reaching the age of 59 and a half. The thing that makes these distributions different is that they can occur at any age. They're not limited to the same age threshold as the Rule of 55. You can use any qualified retirement account with an SEPP plan, with the exception of a 401k you hold at your current employer. You set up the SEPP arrangement through a financial advisor or directly within an institution. You must at the outset choose among three IRS-approved methods for calculating your distributions from an SEPP. These are amortization, annuitization, and required minimum distribution. Each will result in a different calculated annual distribution. However, the amount you withdraw will be predetermined and unchanged every year, at least with two of the three options. The IRS advises individuals to choose the method that best supports their financial situation. You're allowed to change the way you use it once within the plan's lifetime. If you opt to cancel the plan before the minimum holding period expires, you will have to pay all the IRS penalties it waived on the plan's distributions, including interest. 
There are many factors to consider before withdrawing from your accounts early, such as life expectancy, taxes, savings, and investment accounts and more. If you're thinking of using the rule of 55, consult with a financial advisor to see if that's the best way to go. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to improve your finances. Until next time, take care.